guys, my name is Marianne, welcome back to Am I Mary? And today's video is going to be a lip product addict tag. I was tagged to do this video a little while ago by my friend Paula who is on YouTube and I'm going to link her channel down below. So thank you Paula for tagging me. I know it's been a little while in the works this video but I'm finally sitting down to make it. I have gone and tagged a few people in the box below so if you've been tagged then I really hope that you do the video. If you haven't been tagged and you're watching this video thinking this looks interesting I would love to do it do it and let me know I'd love to watch it. The first question is what is your favourite lip balm and or treatment and my favourite one that I've ever used is the Christian Dior um, creme de rose and this was actually a really expensive and lavish purchase but I thought I'd treat myself and I'd treat my lips and I'd invest in something a little bit more high end and I was using this in the night time it's completely empty now I was using this in the night time before sleeping to moisturize and nourish my lips. I love the way that the packaging looks, I love the way that it smells, I love the way that it feels on the lips. It's one of those products that you put on, you go to sleep and you wake up and you can still feel something on the surface of your lips. I think that's quite rare for a lip balm to stay on your lips the whole night so I was really quite chuffed with that. But if you are able to get it and you fancy having that something a little bit extra to nourish your lips with then definitely I would 100% recommend this. So the next question is the best eye catching red and as soon as I read the question I just grabbed this product and it's the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet and this is in the shade number 3 Hot Pepper. A little word about the formulation of these Bourjois products first of all, they're extremely matte, um, they require two layers to get a real strong colour but they're incredibly pigmented but just to get that real like velvet matte look you want two layers. This particular shade is one of the two reds in this collection. They have a classic red and they also have this which to be honest it doesn't look like much in a tube and even the camera isn't doing it justice but when you actually put this on your lips this is a real bright orangey red for well, staring at you. You're going to get people asking where this lip colour is from. I've only been brave enough to wear this out of the house once <laughs> and when I did I got some really good comments and then I got some not so good comments. So if you're brave enough to divide opinion with your lip colour this is definitely one for you. And I like the fact that it's matte as well because I think if you're going to do the bright lips thing I think just go hard or go home. So the next question is your favourite drugstore lip product and your favourite high-end lip product. I think in the UK that we're really spoilt with cheaper lipstick choices and lip product choices so I had to really select. So one particular range that I really like a lot is the Maybelline Baby Lips. I love a good tinted lip balm, it's the easiest thing to wear, it's the easiest thing to whack on your lips and it's probably the thing that I wear most. This one is a new one, the Electro, so I think this is Rose something. Strike a rose, a very basic, a kind of pinky rose tint that it leaves on the lips. But the cherry one is my favourite. Kiko Kiss Balms as well, I really like. This one is in apricot, I believe. Yeah. Again, they're very sheer. They just deliver a small hint of colour. But what I like about it is that there's the sort of balmy, glossy look that it leaves on the lips without feeling sticky in any way. But for the drugstore, there's a standout favourite literally cannot rave about these enough. The name of these changes every time I look. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're called but they're the L'Oreal things. <laughs> I'm gonna look and confirm and obviously it'll be here but I have three shades of these and ha, baby they are good. They're basically a lip gloss slash lip lacquer. You put on one layer and you wait for it to go a little bit tacky and then you put on your second layer and what you get is a really strong glossy lip with a decent amount of colour but one thing that I love about the formulation of these is how long the gloss and the colour lasts on your lips. We're talking about 5-6 hours here people. A glossy lip for 5-6 hours without touching up I think is Phenomenal and again, these are drugstore products so you don't have to um, splash out too much money. The shade range is also good, you get some really bright colours, you've got some fuchsia and you've got bright red and bright pink and you've also got some that are more on the neutral end of the scale. So I've got um, Romy and Lolita, these two are my favourites, they're both pink but the Lolita is more of a muted nude pink and the Romy is a real 
like baby pink but it's warm toned so it's really flattering and the this one here is bonnie and it's a sort of muted coral but when you actually put it on your lips it, is, it does tend to be quite bright for example i've got the romy on top of another product today and it just gives so much color and it really livens up the complexion and because you know that they're going to stay on that long you don't have to faff but if you've tried the ysl glossy stains before and you thought i really like them but you don't want to splash out 24 pounds i think it is for one then these are basically the exact same thing just because we've got so many good drugstore ranges in the UK, I don't think you really need to always branch out into the more expensive lip products. However, one particular company that I do think does do lip products really well is Clarins. The instant light lip perfectors are really amazing. You've got the number two, which is like a nice warm apricot kind of colour. And the number five, which is which delivers a more strong hint of colour. This one's like a coral pink. They're almost milky on the lips, so they're more of a treatment rather than colour, but they still give something to the lips to complete their very fresh and natural look. They're also shimmer-free, which is nice, because I think it's quite easy for companies to just stick shimmer into anything these days. And I know that a few people have drawn comparisons to these between the number 7 BB lips and between the Maybelline Colour Sensation Lip Glosses. Personally, I haven't found anything quite as nice as these for cheaper yet. I'm sure we'll get them at some point, but at the moment these are worth a splurge. So now I'm going to move on to the most disappointing lip products. And I've picked out three lip products that just haven't wowed me or ones that I really disliked. I'll start with this one, which is the Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balms. Now these were a derivative of the original Kissable Lip Balm Stains, which Revlon came out with a little, quite a while ago now actually. I love those, I think they were great, um, I used to wear that all the time. But then they came out with a matte version and a glossy version. So the matte version, I didn't even bother buying one. The lacquer balms I was really like excited about, I thought this would be a good um, clean chubby sticks dupe. Uh, a pinky nudie sort of concoction is what I would normally gravitate towards, so I picked this one up which is called Demure. And on the outside it looks great, but on the lips this just does not translate well. It's like chock-a-block full of gold glitter, not shimmer, like actual thick pieces of glitter, so when you put it on the lips it feels really uncomfortable, really scratchy, and obviously these bits of glitter are going to reflect the light, and when they do, it completely takes away any of the colour that's inside the lip gloss, all you can really see is patches of glitter on your lips, and therefore your lips just look a little bit strange. Another Revlon product that I was a bit miffed by was the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede, and this was my first ever foray into the matte lip trend, so I got this one, I got this in the autumn, so obviously the, sh the shade is a bit weird for the summer, but this is called Backstage. It's like a plummy, dark purple sort of shade. This formulation is so bad, so bad. I put this on, and for the first 10 minutes, my lips, you know, it looked fine, it looked, you know, sort of matte, and it had a nice colour, so I was quite happy with it. But then after 10 minutes, things just went south rapidly. It started flaking, chapping, and I kind of forgot about it. And then three hours later, I looked in the mirror, and all I had was purple flakes all over my lips. Also, the smell of this product was like damp cardboard, I would say. Not a pleasant experience with this one at all. Okay, so this one isn't quite as negative, but it's the Clinique Chubby Stick in Super Strawberry. I actually got the Sabrina magazine, so I feel a little bit bad saying how awful it is. But this is actually a shade that Clinique sell for money. I don't know, I think the problem is that it's the exact same colour as my lips. So it literally did nothing. And But even there on my hand, you can see like there's... There's not much colour in there at all, and that was from a few swipes. So if you're going to go and get Chubby Stick, I'd say just get one that isn't this. Next question is Best Gloss, and I'm going to have to be really annoying and mention these again. If you're wearing gloss, chances are you want a glossy lip. So therefore, I think these are the best way forward. I'm not going to dwell too long on these because I've already ranted about them long enough, but these are definitely the fi my favourite glossy lip products that I would ever use. Now the last question in this tag is 
something extra. So talk about something extra. So this is a bit of a throwback, but I remember when I was like 14, maybe even younger, 13, 14, 15, was the first time that I really started getting into makeup or cosmetics of any kind. And my addiction, literally my addiction, were fizzy drinks themed lip balms. So I've got two to show you because yes, I still own them. The first one is Dr. Pepper. Yeah. I also got the Grape Fanta. Um, somewhere else in my drawer, I couldn't find it, it's also the Coca-Cola Cherry. Even now, every few months, I'll go into Claire's and I'll pick up um, one of these um, because I absolutely love them. It's something that's stayed with me since I was a preteen and I genuinely still rate them as good lip products, especially the... Um, the Dr Pepper one and the Coca Cola Cherry one because they give a nice cherry tint to the lips as well. In school, we didn't drink, we didn't smoke, you know, we didn't go out partying. What we did instead was get one of these lip balms out of our blazers and go. <laughs> I'm still as addicted to them as I was all those years ago, and I think release the inner child inside of you, go into Claire's. Pick up your favourite fizzy drink in lip balm form and enjoy. If you guys enjoy that video uh, with me talking about all of my favourite and least favourite lip products. And hopefully I'm going to see you very soon. Bye!